I'm gonna do it today, everybody. I'm gonna find Lake Superior Agate here on the beach of Lake Superior in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. I will do it because I need it, because my very sanity and life depends on it. My name is Wild Kyle. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any adventures. I do all sorts of fossil hunting, rock hounding, and treasure hunting here on the channel. And today, specifically, I'm way up in the beautiful state of Michigan on the beaches of Lake Superior. I'm going to be looking for Lake Superior agate and any other kind of cool stones I can find. There's really all kinds of cool stuff that you can find. There's no shortage of absolutely beautiful rocks, so you're going to get to see me, Wild Kyle, freak out over beautiful, pretty rocks all day long, and it's going to be a great time. But well, the goal is Lake Superior agate. I refuse to leave this beach without Lake Superior agate in my possession. Couldn't have asked for a better day to come out here and do this, everybody. It's a nice, calm day. Not a whole lot of wind, but there is a good bit of it. And man, there's just beautiful rocks everywhere, exposed. I got my water shoes on so I can walk out in the water and take a look out here. It's a little bit chilly, but it's a nice warm day. So it's definitely, definitely going to be a fun time. There's a real pretty piece right there of, I believe, it's called Unikite. Oh man, look at that green and red speckled in there. That piece is gnarly. Definitely got to hold on to that one. That's an awesome find. Look at these crazy cliffs right here. It's even weirder. I don't even know if that's sand. That looks like all like organic material. <laughs> Whoa, it is. That's crazy. That's literally all just like sawdust, <laughs> basically. Look how high it is. That's gotta be from crazy storms just pushing that stuff up over time. That is pretty cool. So not seeing agates yet, but I could imagine that some bigger ones could be out here. We're gonna try our hand at it. The agates or not, there's just no shortage of cool stuff to look at. Like that. Look at that speckled white in there mixed with the red and some green. That's really neat looking. Throw that to the side. And like this old thing right here. I don't even know what's going on with that, but it just looks so neat. I wish I knew some of the names of these like minerals and stuff. I'm sure there's books on it. Stuff like that. If y'all know anything, let me know in the comments below of anything I pick up. But man, it's just endless cool stuff. But I need agate. Come on. Give me agate. This probably isn't the best idea. It's a little bit slippery. <laughs> man, that lake water is crystal clear. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to get down right there, but it's all deep. Okay, so I'll walk to this one. And then this is, uh, don't try this at home. This isn't exactly the safest thing to do. And by at home, I mean, don't try it if you come to Lake Superior. Here we go. Ah, perfect. Look at that. These cliffs are cool. Those rock I want to look at those rocks up there, but it doesn't seem safe. It's very sandy. Probably very unstable. I do not know what this rock is. All I know is that it looks so cool. Yeah, we're just going to admire a lot of beautiful stones today, my friend. Nature's creations. We just have to because we don't get stuff like this where I live in Florida. And this is all just so gorgeous. Something about these stones with those lines going through, I really love. It's just like these veins going through the rock, and this one's like a green color. I also really like the reds and greens mixed together. They're just very neat looking. I can already tell this rock looks so cool. Look at that. Those are just crazy striations going through there. I saw something else interesting. Ah! What are you doing, waves? Where is it at? Right there. That thing's pretty dang cool, too. Look at that. All sorts of colors just waving throughout it. There's some more classic red and green right there. I love those colors together. Oh, where to go? Oh, right there. Here's our first fossil rock of the day. A little bit of coral right there. Like some sort of Devonian coral, 380 million years old or so. That is pretty dang cool. I'll take it. I saw a super cool rock out here. I think it's a little deeper. I gotta try and grab it when there's not a huge wave. 
Okay, right now. Ugh. Got it. Oh, look at that thing. That is so cool. Look at that red streaking through there. I'm going to leave it, though, but it's very cool to check out. There's just something kind of neat looking right here. Look at all the colors in there. I don't know how well you can see on the camera. There's like red, quartz, red, brown, tan, yellows. That's a pretty neat little stone right there. I like it. I got to pick this guy up right here just because it's different. Look at that. That is really cool. Some of these with the really like tight tight packed lines got me a little fooled <laughs> walking around thinking it's agate and stuff but definitely not agate clearly but oh man that's just really cool looking kind of like a green lines through there where you at now little agates tell me where you be there's still cool stuff everywhere like that that is cool that that is cool Oh, ooh, what's the big yellow boy? Oh, that thing's really cool. Look how gorgeous that is. It's just it's just nothing but cool rocks, really. You could spend like I, I could spend an entire day here, never get bored, because there's just so much to look at. And they're all different. Everything is unique. This is pretty different what I just picked up right here. Look at that. That thing's almost got like a blue to it. And there's little black speckles and a kind of cool line going through right there. I'm going to keep that one because that one would look real cool polished up. In the bucket it goes. I love this one. I love this one. There's green, white, and red in there. That's just way too cool looking not to take home. Beep. I'm going to have to keep a bunch of these just really pretty small rocks. So I can send these to Patreon supporters. I think y'all would probably enjoy some of this. So they won't be as colorful when they dry. But if you have a way to polish or tumble them. Or something like that. Or maybe like. Maybe even throwing some mineral oil on there. Something would just bring the color back out. But I'm going to keep a bunch of these little guys for y'all. Look how cool this one is. All kinds of color in there. Yeah, you can see it real good over the water. That is so neat. I'm pretty sure I'm looking at it right now. Y'all. I'm pretty sure I'm looking at it. Is that the first piece? And possibly the only piece? Oh, yes. Of agate. Alright, I can see that banding on there. We gotta get real close to it probably for everybody on camera to see it. I want it focus. Hold on. Let's go back just a little bit. Where is it at? Ah, oh, you see that? Do you all see that banding right there? That is agate right there, everybody. That exactly right there is what we are looking for. And that one has some really cool color. A lot of the Lake Superior agate has a red. This one's not red. But it is very, very gorgeous. That is awesome. All right. I hope we get more, but we did reach a goal of finding agate at least. We got a lot of beach to walk, so let's keep looking. Well, that was super exciting there. Find our first piece of Lake Superior agate. I love it. I love it. I love it. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But it's tiny. I know, you're in the comments right now, you're saying Kyle, but it's still cool. It is still cool. I want one the size of my fist or my head. Probably unlikely, but. We can wish. It, it makes it fun. Why not? <laughs> so we're going to keep walking and hope for the best. Let's keep looking. Yeah, take a look. See at that stone. Whoa. Some weird kind of porous rock in there. Then that gorgeous white. But I'll leave that one here as well. This thing's so cool. I got to keep it. It looks like an alien space rock. <laughs> There's like green splotches on it. I really like that one a whole lot. Look at this one I just picked up. All those crazy lightning lines through there. I shall call it a thunderstone. There's got to be a name for these ones with like the kind of light green speckles through them. That's probably some specific sort of mineral. I'm not sure. If anybody knows, let me know 
in the comments. I really like these ones. This thing right here looks really cool. Whoa, look at that. Look at the white mixed with the green. Let's get a look over here. Look how cool that looks. Man, that's like, I don't even know, that green, I'm not sure what that is. That white's definitely quartz. That's a really cool stone, I'll keep that one. I very, very much like this unikite that I just picked up. I'm going to have to invest in a rock tumbler. Let me know in the comments below what ones I should be looking at. Because these would look way too good polished up. It's a pretty neat pink stone. Look at that sheen in there. That's wild looking. I wonder what kind of mineral this one is. That's really pretty. And that, that kind of shine is strange when you move it a certain way in the light. Look at that. It's like a weird, some weird line. Look at that. That is so crazy looking. It's really beautiful. I think I'll keep this piece. And look how colorful this one is. Black, white, yellow. That thing is just way too cool looking. Please help me. There's too many cool rocks. I can't stop. I'm not sure why. But that makes me slightly uncomfortable to look at. <laughs> that must be groundwater or something bubbling up right there. That's a little stream and it just goes right into the lake. But that's pretty weird. <laughs> Kinda awesome though. And right above me, a beautiful cliff. And some trees. I have got to come snorkel for agate. Look at all that out there. Oh, it's amazing how many rocks are out there. Huge rocks. There could be like big chunks of agate out there. Where's it at? I think there's a pretty big old cool chunk of unikite right there. Is it? Not super green on that one. I still like all those red splotches and lines through it. We'll leave that one here. So let me provide a little bit of context on what's going on here with all these stones on the beach. So all the stones here are basically from glacial deposits. And the glaciers were moving through this area long, long ago. And they would drop all this stuff off, round it all out. The lakes helped round it out. And that's how you get this, like, all these crazy conglomerate rocks of just stuff mixed all together and stuff like that from the source, which is, like, over there in Canada. A lot of this stuff was sourced from over there. So it's like the original rock is over in Canada, and then the glaciers pushed and moved it all the way over here to Michigan. These rocks have gone on a crazy journey, and to me that's just incredible to think about. And it's an honor and a pleasure to be here, finding all these cool stones on the beach here, and of course, sharing it with you all. So, hope you all are enjoying today's video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you are, subscribe if you're new. Let's keep walking. Look at this stone right here. That's really neat. It's very similar to those other speckled ones I've been picking up, but this one's more of like a yellow, creamy, orange, white kind of thing in those little speckles. I like that one a lot. I don't know what this is, but it's an impressive stone. With all that red in there. Oh my gosh, that thing's cool. Let's get a little closer. Yeah. What? Oh man, that looks cool. That thing looks like it's on fire. Take you a look at some of the colors in this one. Look at that bright red right there. And then just all that beautiful lines through there. I'm going to leave it right here for somebody else. There are so many incredible stones to look at here on this beach. I'm going to leave the camera rolling for a minute. I'm going to pick up five rocks. And I want you all to let me know in the comments below, out of those five, what was your favorite? We're going to number them, and you can leave the number down in the comment below. So here's number one. Oh my gosh, that one's really cool. That one might already be my favorite, even though I've only picked one up. Okay, I'm keeping this one, so let's uh, let's throw that one in the bucket there. All right, let's get number two. All right, this is going to be number two right here. That's number two. A very cool rock. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh, that looks really cool. Number three. Look at that. Some crazy quartz going through there. 
That is awesome. Number three. Let's go with... Let's see. Let's try and find a, a bigger one. This one's cool. Let's go with this one for number four. Oh, yeah. Look at those green lines running through there. That is awesome. All right. We got to find something special for number five. Number five, Rock. Where are you going to be? May it be an agate. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy? So we go up to here. Let's go up here and look. There we go. Really cool lines on that one. Number five. Let me know which one's your favorite in the comments below. Boo! I didn't think that was going to be it, guys. I didn't think it was going to be, so I already picked it up. But I set it back down so you can experience the... Oh, the joy with me. you got to be kidding me. Y'all, do you see it? Do you see that agate banding? Oh... Baby, that is a nice piece of Lake Superior Agate. All right, I need that sun to come back out. Okay, focus on... Oh, my. Look at the banding on that agate, everybody. Now, that right there is what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, my gosh. Well, that is exciting. I literally flipped that rock over and I just like <laughs> did that basically because I saw that banning. Oh gosh. Y'all, give this video a big old thumbs up for that piece right there. I found an incredible mixture agate. Woo! All right, everybody, thanks so much for joining me on today's beach walking adventure here on the beaches of Lake Superior. We found what we were looking for. We were looking for a beautiful Lake Superior agate, and we ended up, and, 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 can't talk. We ended up getting an absolutely beautiful, beautiful piece. So now I've actually got to go back to the hotel where my mom's at. We're going to do some Uper light hunting later, which you either may have already seen or you will be seeing. So if you've already seen it, then Hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't seen it yet, that means I'm posting it later. And I hope you'll enjoy it. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks again. Thanks for joining me. I will see y'all in the next video.